If you've ever dug out an entire chunk in Minecraft, you'll know it's a mammoth task. Now imagine doing that nine times over, and you have this 135,000 block hole that I dug on my hardcore world. At the end of the last episode, I had a temporary base in a village. But once I'd finished recording that episode, I went flying around to try and find the perfect place for my permanent base. After flying around for about half an hour, I found this place. And while it doesn't look like much, I knew it had the potential to be perfect. So I cleared out this entire forest, selected my nine chunks, and realized that it was indeed a perfect place. But you won't fully understand why until the end of the video. After digging out all of the dirt, I stopped playing for about a month. But then I came back and started the proper excavation of the stone. After digging out just three layers of it, my pickaxe was already at like a quarter durability. This was an issue because I don't have an XP farm, and on top of that, I was also running low on rockets. So I hatched a plan. Now that I knew where my base was going to be, I could start making some automatic farms. I decided I was going to make two fairly simple farms to combat these two issues. A small and inefficient creeper farm that I can make close enough to my base that it'll just always be producing a small amount of gunpowder, and an endem XP farm. I started with the creeper farm, but I accidentally deleted the replay mod file. But that doesn't really matter, because after a couple of hours of sort of AFKing, it was absolutely terrible. I had like 20 gunpowder and that was it. But before I fixed that, I made my Enderman farm, which was pretty boring to be honest. But once I got the Enderman farm fully working, I repaired all of my tools and I went back to my base. This is when I decided I should probably just build a new creeper farm. So I flew out into the ocean and built a much better one. Now that I had everything I needed to carry on digging, i that's literally all I did. I just dug, and dug, and dug. But now that I had a really efficient creeper farm, I thought I can probably speed up this process with some TNT. And not only did I blow up my pit, but I also went to the nether and did a bunch of netherite mining so I could fully complete my set of tools and armor. With this new confidence, I had the whole mining thing under wraps. For the next few real life days, I just placed TNT, lit it, ran away, came back, and mined whatever blocks were left. Now just to remind you, this is what it looked like at the beginning of the video, and this is what it looks like now. Anyway, let's just keep blowing stuff up. Now that I've finished exploding the stone, I just need to break the remaining few floating blocks and replace all of the blocks missing from the wall. And there we go. We have officially completed the digging out of this pit, but there's still a couple more things I'd like to do, starting with the entrance. At the moment, it's just a massive open pit. And so let's just do something about that real quick. First, I'm gonna start by removing the oak plank outline that I made to mark out my three chunks when I first decided to do this project, and I'm gonna replace it with some grass. Now I don't want my base just to be a gaping eyesore in the middle of a plains biome. So I'm going to cover up a bunch of the top with grass and make a circle at the top that you fly down to get into my base. Before I could finish the top though, I actually ran out of grass, but I decided to go on a bit of a detour. Last episode I made this beacon, but why stop at one? To get every effect in a beacon, you need five beacons, six if you want them all to be maxed. But I don't like having permanent jump boost, and I only really want speed one, so I settled for four beacons, which means to get the remaining three, I had to go find nine wither skulls. And over the next little while, that's exactly what I did. I flew around in the nether for ages with two objectives in mind. I needed some more mineral blocks to expand my beacon pyramid, and I also wanted to find a fortress in the soul sand valley to speed up the wither skull grinding process. I found about a stack and a half of gold blocks from a bunch of bastions, and then I found the perfect fortress. And I just started grinding.
After I had all nine skulls, I flew home and fought one, two, and three withers. Now that I had the nether stars, I pulled out some obsidian I got in the bastions and I crafted my three beacons. Next I pulled out all of the gold blocks I got from the bastions and I added to the pyramid I had for my current beacon, so that now I could fully power four. I placed them all and set them all to different buffs, and I changed the colours of their beams to match their effects. So now, whenever I'm at my base, I have permanent speed, regeneration, strength, haste, and resistance. Oh yeah, and I, I did end up going to get more grass and finishing the top of the base. Now, I can call my pit finished. But sadly, that's all for today's episode. Make sure to subscribe if you want to be notified when I release episode 3, which is where I transform this pit into an awesome base. Till the next one, see ya!